Why do our arms swing when we walk? Our arms swing when we walk because it helps with balance, stability, and energy efficiency. Though it might seem unnecessary, arm swinging counteracts the motion of our legs, reducing rotational forces on the body and making walking smoother. Studies show that letting our arms swing naturally requires less energy than keeping them still. This movement is largely controlled by the nervous system and passive momentum, meaning it happens automatically without much effort. Hmm. Uh. Why is it difficult to lose belly fat? Losing belly fat is challenging because the body naturally holds on to it for energy storage and protection. Stress increases cortisol levels, which signals the body to store fat in the abdomen. Unlike fat in other areas, belly fat, especially visceral fat, is more resistant to breakdown. Poor diet, lack of exercise, and inadequate sleep further slow metabolism, making it harder to shed. Hmm. Additionally, genetics influence where the body loses fat first, often delaying belly fat loss. Hmm. Why do fans make the air feel cooler? A fan doesn't lower air temperature, it just makes us feel cooler. It moves air around, increasing sweat evaporation from our skin, which helps dissipate body heat. The breeze also pushes away the warm air surrounding us, replacing it with cooler air from elsewhere in the room. However, in extremely hot, stagnant air, Fans can be ineffective or even counterproductive. That's why proper ventilation is key for maximizing a fan's benefits. <laughs> hmm. Why does bloating happen? Bloating occurs when our gastrointestinal tract becomes filled with gas or air. It's often caused by excess gas in the digestive system thanks to swallowing air, overeating, or indulging in gassy foods like beans and carbonated drinks. Bloating may also result from an imbalance in gut bacteria, leading to excessive gas production. Constipation can also be a culprit, as trapped stool leads to trapped gas. Hmm. Why do we snore? Snoring occurs when air struggles to move freely through our nose and throat during sleep, causing the surrounding tissues to vibrate. This happens for various reasons. Firstly, nasal congestion from allergies or colds can block the airway. Secondly, when we sleep on our back, our tongue may block the airway. Thirdly, excess weight can add pressure to our neck, thus narrowing the airway. Lastly, age also plays a role, as throat muscles weaken over time, thus making snoring likely. Hmm. How high do commercial planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Why does acidity happen? Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid to help with digestion 
but if there's too much or it gets pushed up into the esophagus, then it leads to discomfort like heartburn. Acidity is often caused due to overeating or consuming spicy foods. Stress and certain medications can also increase acid production. A weakened lower esophageal sphincter, which is supposed to keep acid in the stomach, can also contribute to acidity. Hmm.